Hello again. Welcome back to Nerd Chic for another great WordPress tutorial. And this tutorial focuses on using the Divi theme. We're um, actually going to teach you um, a huge, huge, huge trick that we do. It's a big deal for setting up these wonderful animated full screen backgrounds on pages. So you can see on this page that I've been working on that there's this full screen background with the text to overlay. It's beautiful. And you know, this is an awesome thing. Pretty much in Divi, you can set this up fairly easily. Um, we'll show you how to set it up the normal way, as well as if you've noticed in Divi, for those of you who are using it, if you're doing one of these videos for your background, um, it doesn't show up on a mobile device. So when Divi does responsive um, device um, activity in your phone or in your tablet or whatever, you don't get this wonderful background, you get like a plain color or a plain image background, which is really kind of sad. So we want to show you today how to have the image both on your regular device, um, so your desktops, but as well as tablets and phones. And so first off, we'll show you how to do a full screen video background um, as your header like this. You see there's these wonderful menus right here and it's all overlaid. So let's look at that. First off, um, we had to uh, go into our menu area in inside of um, appearance and then you go to customize and inside of there you're going to want to turn off your menu um, if you want this header to have your menu where it overlays and it's clear like ours so again if I'll show you why this pops up if you want this where your menu pops up right here and it's overlaying the video and there's no bar over it then you want to go in first and make this change in side of just appearance settings and it'll be on header and navigation and you just go into primary menu bar and you make it full width, hide logo image like we did and then we went down here and we made the background color clear so you can see you can do that so that's pretty easy drop down menu we still left a color um, but you know there it is actually what would really be cool I'm going to do this for mine I'm going to put in a color here like this and give it a little bit of a, you know, that's what I'm going to do to mine. So anyways, now it has a little bit of an image. So this one made pure clear because you don't want the bar here. So I'm going to save and publish and we can look at what that looks like. So here we go. Save and close. Let's look at that bar. Until it pops up. Takes just a second for this to actually do the function in the website. So it's doing that. All right, let it make its change. Now let's go back out here, and I'm going to refresh. And it should be that my drop downs now have a little bit of a other color. You'll see I have a black bar right here. I've added a top bar menu, um, which I don't really use. And then here it is. So you can see now my drop downs will have a little grayed out color under them. This black bar, the WP top bar, is another add-in I use, and I can add links in here, information, um, but I've added that little teeny black bar on purpose. This one right here, of course, is what we just made clear. All right, let's go back in here, and I'm gonna show you how to do um, your Divi Builder to do this wonderful um, video background, not just for your desktop, but also for your mobile devices. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create one of these for our um, desktop. So you'll notice I've got two full width headers here. In the end, you'll have two as well. The first thing I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna create a full width section. You do that by clicking this button right here. See, full width section, I'm gonna create one. And normally I would insert the module and I'd add full width header. So that's what I want you to do here. And then you'll have something that looks like this, all right? So I want you to do that. I'm gonna actually turn this off now because this is not what I'm doing. I've already done it. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So the first thing we're going to do once we have the full width header here is save and close and then go into here. So again, full width section, insert module, full width header, go ahead and save and exit. And then we're going to go into this area and start doing the settings. So you click this, you go into settings, and this is where we're going to add our video stuff. So let me show you what I've done already in one, and then you can do it too. Click section. And then in here, you're gonna go over here and click the video. You're gonna upload your background video in MP4 for format. 
and then you're going to upload your background video in WebM format so that every browser can actually see it. <clears throat> then in here, you're going to put the background video width. I put 1920 by 1080, which is what my video actually is. And so then I can press save and exit. Um, I mean, not save and exit, but I've got to do some more sets and design advance. The first thing I want to say before I move from here is this. Background video WebM, the way you can do this if, if you don't know much about video is you can take your MP4 video, which you've created, of course, as a 30-second or something video like I've got. You've uploaded it here. To get your WebM, you want to go to a converter. I use online converters. This is online-convert.com, and you can go in here and just click to do your .mp4. You convert a file, um, click, and then you can upload it right here. It's so easy. Just enter the URL where it lives or choose the file from your desktop. And then just change it in here to um, WebM. And it will automatically do it. Once it's done, it will give you the output file. And then you can go back in here and upload it into the WebM. So that's done. All right, let's go into design now. So you've done your WebM video, converted it. Let's go into design. And this is, I make sure that's 100% for width because I want it to be full width. I don't want any box shadow or anything, so I'm not clicking any of this. Advanced. This is the important part in advance. Go down to here. Disable this on phone and tablet because this is only for your desktop. Let me show you why. Inside of here, if you put background video in, look, it says all the videos will be uploaded in this, but important note, video backgrounds are disabled from mobile devices. Instead, your background image will be used. This is the secret. So you're doing this only for desktop devices. So over here in advance, you're turning it off in here, and then save and exit. Save and exit. So that's the first one. This one, this full width header, is for your desktops. It will not show up on your mobile devices at all. So we're going to put in another full width section, which is this right here. So you're going to click full width section and add it again. And then you're going to add again, full width header. Boom. And save and exit, because we're going to do some steps again. Right, I'm going to clear this because I've already done it. Here it is. So I've got it here. The first thing I'm going to do is go back into here again in the settings on the purple menu. And then inside of here, there's design. We're going to do full width, 100%. Advanced. We're going to make sure that in advanced, it disables on desktop, right? We don't want it on the desktop. Save. And then the full width header, we can go in here, and we're going to insert our text that we want on there again, just like we did on the other one. This is the text I want overlaid. And then in here, look down here. Right down here, I'm going to do background. But here's the catch. I'm choosing a graphics background. Graphics. You see that? So now that I've got this graphics background, I'm going to put in an animated GIF. So this is going to have a mobile device. You see it's a little granular on the desktop, but on your mobile device, it's not as noticeable. This is how we have video embedded behind on mobile devices. So again, take your MP4 video, go to a different place where you can animate GIFs. This is easygif.com. So in easygif.com, you can bring a video in like I've done here, my MP4, and then you click to convert it. And look at that, it converted my image into an optimized GIF and then I can click optimize again and work on my compression levels because I don't want to be huge. This thing's kind of huge at 14.73. You're going to want to make it smaller. Anyways, you get it done, you download this, you save it and then you bring it in here and you upload it to here. All right, so you've done that. Now, I left background image size at cover center, no repeat. I'm going to go in advance, go down here and where do we not want it? We don't want this on our desktop. Save and exit. We're going to then press update. And lo and behold, folks, once this updates, you will now have a video on your local desktop that is a pure MP4 or WebM video, which is great. See there? And then you won't have any kind of other things here, right? So you don't have the other one showing up. And then on your mobile device, which I can't show you here, you can go to 
beautifulworld.biz and you can look yourself and see it on this site I'm setting up. But then you have a mobile version and a tablet version that's running in the background. And that's really all there is into it. You've got to get a good GIF and use it as the background because images will convert.